welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a first impressions on some Amazon makeup finds I recently bought a few weeks ago and so I only bought two items and the first one is an eyeshadow palette which is from Charm Code called Fusion. And then I bought a highlighter palette, which is the You Can Be Kaleidoscope palette. So if you want to see the impressions of what I think of these items, then keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the Fusion palette, which looks like this. And it has an expiration date, which says December 20th, 2021. And so on the back of the palette, it says that it's distinctive pop colors complemented with light and medium pastels for creating a large variety of looks. Each vertical row creates a whole eye makeup look. The top Add center rows are pastel, medium, and nude sheets that are to be applied on the eyelids and crease, while the bottom row contains colorful duochrome and exotic sheets that are to be applied on the top. Oh, and so these are the ingredients in the back, and it's cruelty-free and it has a 12-month shelf life. And the net weight is 15 eyeshadow shades that each have 1.6 grams of product. And so I'm going to stop babbling on. This is, this is just basic information that comes with the palette. And this is what it looks like after the cardboard's out. Because I had like a sleeve. It looks exactly the same except it's got like glitter on it and it looks really really beautiful and exotic as it says and amazon i did pay for it for 6.99 and i thought it was such a good deal because it also comes with a mirror and the this is what the color scheme looks like and as you can see, like, it's really, really beautiful and unique. So I'm really excited to use this palette. I've never seen, I don't have anything like this in my collection. And for $6.99, I hope it performs very well on the eyelid. So... The first shade I'm going to be taking of this is this taupey light brown color. I'm putting that all over my crease. And so I'll be using the Sigma E35 brush for the... So automatically these, the matte eyeshadow is pretty powdery. Uh, you have to be really careful. And I'm right handed, so I just took it and look at it. That's a lot of a wall, but see how it performs in the eyes. So just based on the application, it pretty much didn't leave it patchy, and that's really good. It's always a good sign that a matte shadow can do for you. <laughs> okay, so I just applied it with both my eyelids, and it pretty much came out beautifully. Um, so next... I'm going to be taking this light pinkish shade and putting it almost like a transition above my crease and 
and see if that shows up. I mean, it looks pretty pink. And, um, yeah, so. And I'll be taking my Sigma E40 brush for that pink shade right there. So, it's gonna be this one. I really want to dip into a much darker shade just to bring in some dimension on this eye, uh, on the outer V, so I definitely want to use this middle shade. It's like a duochrome, and uh, that, these shades are beautiful too. All these are beautiful, so um... And then this red one is calling me too, but I don't know how well these two would go together, so... Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do something last minute. So, I'm going to apply this purple shade, and I'm going to put it, like, as a halo, so... It's gonna go like in the inner portion of my lid here and outer portion of my lid here and then I'm gonna place that middle duochrome shade in the middle and then we'll go from there so uh, this is like the lightish purple shimmery shade and keep in mind that I'm going to use this dry first So I did build it up the second time, and this is what it's looking like so far. And as you can see, you really need to be patient with it. And so what I'm going to do is wet my brush and see if like the metallicness of the shade comes through. Because it looks really beautiful on the pan, and I'm pretty sure if you swatch it, it'll look just like that. But because I'm working it in with a brush, uh, I want to see how how well it'll be if I wet it. Okay, so as you can see, it really did become more vibrant with my... Well, you could see this is like my little fix plus. <laughs> it's just my wet and wild primer water. And you can really tell that it made the shade more vibrant and almost that shiny purple metallicness so I'll continue working with it and I'll get back to you how how it looks in the end with the other eye okay so this is what the finish look <laughs> this is what the look I have so far with the purple and it's beautiful like I with it dry, it it does it does show up, but not as vibrant when you like like when you wet your brush, and so you could tell that it's purple. It's like shimmery, and I absolutely love it. Um, so that's that's really nice. I'm and so now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this duochrome. Like, it's almost like a greenish blue seafoam 
green, I don't know, color. It just looks like, like almost like the seawater you see. <laughs> I'm going to be taking the same eye brush, which is the E55. And I'm going to be putting that in the middle. And I am going to be using it dry just to see how it performs on its own and then if it's not so much then I'll wet it. So you can see that it's glittery, it's beautiful, you could just see the sparkle and dimension and so now I'm going to be performing it with a wet brush and I'll see if it turns into like a foiled finish. Excited! Oh my god, I got crazy. Do you see that? Wow. That is super pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna finish with the other eye and I'll be right back. So I just finished um, the basic eye look for the halo eye. And you could just see how glowy and beautiful that shade was. I don't know specifically the names of it because it doesn't come with any, but as you can see, like, you see as what you get, and like, you can make it more intense by building it up, like, three more layers, but this is with just one and a half alone, and it just is so beautiful, it's beautiful. <laughs> So I'm just so happy with this palette. Um, so I put more of that transition shade in the bottom of my eyelid. And I also did put a little bit more as my transition shade on top of the eye look. And so now to finish up this look, I want to put like a, like an inner corner highlight. And I'm not sure which shade to pick because the these shades are almost matching with this one, but I'm not sure how how that's gonna look on the inner corner. And I also don't really wanna match it with the purple. I kinda wanna like be a little different. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna choose this yellow one and I put that in my inner corner. So just to intense it, I'm gonna wet it just a little bit. See how it looks like. So this is the finished eye look and I can't be any more satisfied with the color scheme and how pigmented everything came out. You just gotta work a little patience with the palette, but overall I really love the I can't wait to share it in my Instagram because I see no one talking about it. It's a brand called Charm Code and it's called Fusion. And I just never heard of it. Like I don't know how people well, I can understand now that people can't get it because it's currently unavailable on the site. But I think that's only because it's out of stock. 
but I'm pretty sure they will restock this palette. But I'm so excited to see what Charm Code Cosmetics comes out with. And I think they did a really great job with the palette. Um, can't say any more great things about it. I might do a two looks one palette with this in my channel. So we'll see how that goes. But so far I highly, highly recommend this one. <laughs> so lastly, I will be testing out the Kaleidoscope Highlighter Palette. And this one was $9.99 and it comes with nine shades. It almost looks like the like the Essence palette, Essence Cosmetics. They recently came out with a palette looking like this. I ended up not getting that one, but I did pick this one up and the color scheme is beautiful. It's really, really nice. And so, since I'm going with like more like an ocean, pretty vibe, I don't know, like purpley blue vibe, I will be taking the shade, this one, it's like a light purple color, and that's what that looks like, you can almost see that it's like a sheer, powder but look at how beautiful i've tried this palette already and i could say it's not even that powdery just as you smooth it over you could tell that it's like a purple light shift in the skin so i'll quickly do that real quick so i'll be taking my sigma f35 brush it's a tapered highlighter brush. I'm gonna put it lightly over my cheekbones. And of course you can build this shade up if you want to. But I don't feel like doing that. I just want to like a light purple highlight on my skin. And that's just really, really beautiful. So this is a You Can Be Kaleidoscope. And I actually really love how that came out. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be putting in my face is this Lip Love product. And I got this from Kinder Beauty last year, and it seems like I've used it, but reality is I've used a little bit, and a little bit pretty much goes a long way. And so this product, it says that it's not a lipstick or lip gloss, so claiming that you could use this in your, like, as blush. You could put it all over your eyelids or you could put it in your lips. It doesn't really matter. But this is what the shade looks like. I really love it. I'll apply it in just a second. Okay, so this is pretty much my whole finished look, and this is what the lip product for this looks like. It doesn't have a, the name, unfortunately. Yeah, I can't really tell which shade I got, but it's almost like a rosy, reddish, orange rust shade. And it's really beautiful. It's like a watery formula, but... It's comfortable on the lips. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. I really recommend the palette. I really recommend the highlighter palette. These makeup finds from Amazon are something that I don't regret purchasing. And the eye look came out beautiful. 
The highlighter is just stunning. It's not so out there. And of course the lip product I pretty much really love too. So so thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. I really hope that you find these products if you if you have them accessible in your country or wherever you live or in the website. And may God bless. I hope you continue staying safe and that you keep following the guidelines that our governor keeps or your governor. My governor is from California and he's already having the order of people going back to work soon so please take precautions and yeah so um i hope you're having a good day or night and may god bless always please like and subscribe if you like and share the video if you want to and i will see you another time bye So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, oh, look at the ending. <laughs> oh, John.